Hi guys, welcome to the first Bazant's unboxing. This big ass parcel is from the Mantis Garden. Now, I only ordered um, a Schroeder Mantis oof and some African land snails. So I'm not quite sure what else he sent because it's quite a big parcel. But we're going to find out. I have opened it a little bit just to have a little peek at what was on the top but I haven't um I haven't delved deep into it let's have a look so let's find out what he's actually sent me there's the land snails in there there's a couple in there we'll open that let's see what's in there. these aren't actually for me these are for my little sister um yeah it's quite a, put that in there there's quite a few in there but i'm not going to hold any of these because you're not supposed to hold them from what i've been told but there's quite a few in there i think there's about 10 or so in there also i don't know anything about land snails my little sister does i do not that so they will be for her instead of me um this i imagine is the yeah the schroeder mantis lineola linola not quite sure if i pronounced that correct but there's the oof um this i have to replace with moss he did tell me he didn't have any moss on the hand so that's why there's tissue in there but that should be, I should have quite a lot of nymphs in it. Um, about two weeks from hatching, I think he said. So that'd be nice. They'll be on sale soon on the website. Uh, or one of the websites, as I'll say. Um, what's this? Bean weevil culture. Um, I've no idea what bean weevil is. Oh, I think that's one there. I don't know what these are. They look like they've got holes in, so I'm not sure if that's their food or not. I'm going to have to ask him about that. I'm not entirely... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what bean weevil is. I guess it's... I'm guessing it's those little things in there. There's one there. I don't know. I've, I've take it they're feeders. Oh yeah, there's one running down. I can't really see it very well. I take it they're feeders, so we'll feed those to the ant colonies or breed them for future use. Not entirely sure, but awesome. Right, what else have we got? He did say watch out for, don't throw the newspaper out, because it has stuff in it. So that one doesn't. Take it to something in there. So I only ordered the, the ooth and the land, uh, African land snails, the rest of the stuff he's just sent I did wonder why the box was so big uh, uh, red runner oofs oh awesome awesome stuff there's quite a few in there by the looks of it uh, that's nice that I've, I haven't actually got any red runners um, and I have a lot of tarantulas and stuff so they will definitely come in handy 10 to 15 days not long at all again i don't know to have dubias and uh giant cave roaches but i don't have any red runners so we'll we'll get those on the go for sure it looks like some excelsior wood in there i don't want to open it and fiddle with them uh, i think you keep these pretty dry i don't think you wet these at all or anything like that 
Um, right, else? I'll check the newspaper. He did say don't throw it. God, think, think, please. Yeah, I'm looking that one. <coughs> and that was anything in there. Nope. And I'll take it that one's packaging also. Yeah, look packaging, packaged very well. Um, and everything fits in the box. Oh, let's knock that over then. Let's be careful of that. Right, what's this one? Party mix. Ah, okay. I take it these are isopods, yeah. There's one. I don't actually have any of these. I have a few panda kings. Um, a colony of lava isopod. There's a snail in there. I don't know if that's a type of African land snail that's got mixed up. I'm not entirely sure. I have to ask him about that. They don't look the same. It might be on the leaves that he's packaged them with. I don't think he had... Yeah, he did say he didn't have any moss on hand, so I take it that's a, a garden snail. I'm not sure. I have to ask him about that one. But the party mix, if we can see it, oh, there they are. Lots of them. I don't know how many are in here. But it looks, you can see them all running around in there. A bit of cucumber for them to feed on. Yeah, there's quite a few in there. Good addition to the growing ice pod collection. Uh, fairly new to ice pods managed to breed a few species um, and then sold them but we'll definitely get those on the go right what else have we got in here some adult dubias male slash female now that's pretty awesome to be fair i do have a small dubia colony um however they are only females some weird reason um so yeah some males in there it's females yeah, well i'll add those to the existing colony that i already have um we was talking about roaches a couple of days ago um i did say i only had females in my colony um although they have had offspring um but there's there's no males there we used to be until i fed them to my tarantulas because i did originally get them as only feeders um instead of actually breeding them but these i shall add into the tub i have my current doobies in and we'll try and get them breeding and hopefully have enough eventually to be able to sell some too so uh i think that's about it but really he wasn't expecting half of this stuff um so party mix awesome adult dubias awesome uh the red runner ooths awesome stuff lots of feeders for the vast amount of ant colonies i have that you can buy on the website uh, i'll put the website in the description um bean weevils i'm gonna have to ask him what these are actually for so i'm not entirely sure i don't know what these these are i take it this their food they got lots of little holes in looks like they've been burrowing into them so i take it that's their food I'm going to guess, but I'll message him. Um, if any of you guys know, put in the comments what I can use these for. Uh, I'm sure I've got a few ant colonies that will love them, though. If they are feeders, I presume they are. They're in a, a feeder-style tub. Um, and then the land snails, which, again, aren't for me. Um, but they will be kept at my house. 
awesome stuff. I'm sure they'll, I'm not entirely sure how long they take to grow or anything like that. But we'll make some more content on these guys. They do look pretty cool, definitely different from the the snails we get in the UK. Try and get that to focus on it a bit. Yeah, cool patterns on the shells. Yeah, definitely cool stuff. And then obviously the I don't want to crush that one in the lid. Wicked. And then the main the main piece of the order. The linola, lineola ooth. Uh, I can't wait for this to hatch. I'm sure this pot will be filled with nymphs. Um, obviously, I'll keep a few, but most of these will be sold um, in groups or as singles, depending on how many hatch. We shall see. I'll replace this with uh, some moss after the video to get them going, but two weeks, he said which I'm sure he's right because he knows his stuff. Um, so we'll see what happens within two weeks. So thank you very much, Simon. I wasn't expecting any of this. Um, if you haven't checked them out already, check out the Mantis Garden. I'll put his um, socials and his YouTube channel in the description. Um, awesome stuff, very well packaged. Uh, lots of newspaper. Lucky you said don't throw away newspaper or the red runners would have probably disappeared into the bin, I would imagine. Uh, but awesome stuff. Definitely check him out. Super nice guy. Awesome stuff. Snails are on the move. Definitely on the move. But awesome. Right. I think end it there for the first Bazant's um, unboxing. Um, definitely a good package and more unboxes in the future and plenty more videos to come uh, there's a few stuff planned in the works which I'm sure you all will know of very soon so thank you very much guys I'll see you very soon